Catholic Relief Services is leading the charge to eliminate orphanages around the world. Instead, they want to support children who stay in a family-based environment. Lauren Ashburn recently sat down with a longtime child advocate and clinical psychologist to learn more about the problems with orphanages that still exist in many countries. Joining us now is Shannon Senefeld, Vice President for Catholic Relief Services, which is an international humanitarian agency dedicated to helping the poor and vulnerable. Welcome to the program. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. CRS wants to end the institutionalization of orphanages everywhere. Why? Well, the fact is that the majority of the children who are in orphanages aren't actually orphans. 80 to 90 percent of them actually have a living parent. So we want to get the children back with their parents. Why then are they in orphanages? There are a lot of different reasons, but the top reason is poverty. The parents don't have the money to care for them, and they think that they'll have access to school and education, health services by entering into the orphanage. And so getting them back to their parents really means improving the quality of life where they live. So let's take a clip. You're working with J.K. Rowling, who's the author of the Harry Potter series. Let's hear what she's saying. She's a very powerful mm -hmm. voice. Because the poverty is the thing that overwhelmingly has driven the child into the institution, right. they need, we need to support them and their community. How do you plan to support them in the community? Well, we want to strengthen families to care for the children. <clears throat> we also want to strengthen the institutions that are now functioning as orphanages to actually function as community service providers. So the majority of kids who come into orphanages actually come from communities around the orphanages. So if they were able to access education at those buildings without having to live there, they could still live at home and have access to services. But one of the most important things is actually changing the funding. Because as you mentioned, poverty is the the real root of the problem. And so to change it, we actually have to make sure that money is redirected to supporting children to stay in their families. Okay, but what about the orphans who are really orphans? Well, that's only about 10% of the actual children, and the majority of them actually have a family member who would be willing to care for them if they actually had the funds and resources to do so. And we know that it's actually 10 times more expensive to support a child in an orphanage as compared to in a home. So for our audience, who where, where should they send money to help this program? Well, they can certainly donate directly to Catholic Relief Services to help us actually support children to remain in their families. If they're working through their parishes, they can also work with their parishes to direct the resources to the congregations where they're working overseas to support family-based care. Uh, we're happy to work with them if they reach out and let us know if they have questions, they're not sure how to do that. We're definitely here as a resource. What's the timetable on all of this? So we are already engaged in some of this work in some countries. What we're hoping to do is actually scale it up to get to a global movement so that we actually get more kids out of orphanages faster, but we're already working on this in many countries. And which ones, uh, where is it working the most? Well, right now, CRS is actively working on this in Haiti, Uganda, uh, Rwanda, Cambodia, Zambia, wow, India. Okay. So, all right, you are covering the globe already. We are, we are working yeah. out of this. Yeah, all there's right. much work still to be done. Thank you so much, Shannon Senefeld, Vice President for Catholic Relief Services. My pleasure. Thank you.